vessel. Rigid vessel means constant volume. If the volume is constant, then is dV is zero. And you are given the initial temperature and final temperature. Initial temperature is 300 and final temperature is 370. And determine the entropy change in joules per mole per Kelvin. D S equals to del Q by T. Del Q by T is same as du plus P dV by T. dV is zero. So only left is du. Ideal gas can be replaced du equal to C V D T. Only thing that this is C V bar because it's a mole calculation. So this is C V bar multiplied by C V multiplied by D T by T. CV bar and this one is ds integral what we get is delta s is it equals to cv bar into ln of t2 t2 by t1 now p minus cv cp bar minus cv bar is same as r bar and cp bar by cv bar is gamma that ratio is fixed so can we write here cv equals to so what we do is that we'll divide this term by cv so cp by cv is gamma this one is 1 is it r bar divided by c bar is r bar upon gamma minus 1 r bar is 8314 and gamma minus 1 is 0.4 so 20785 joules per mole per kelvin so put this value back this one is 20785 ln of t2 370 divided by 300 so answer is 4359 joules per kilo joules per mole per kelvin a lump of steel of mass equal to 15 kgs at 800 degrees Celsius is dropped in 10 kg of water at 30 degrees Celsius. So this is the before and this is after drop. Mass of steel will change, mass of water will change, no change. But is the steel block is at high temperature, so heat will lost by the steel and we assume that that heat is gained by what? Water. But what he says? Resultant temperature of mixture is what? 100. He says that whatever the mixture is there that temperature is 100 so this final temperature equals to 100. and the surplus heat available with the steel is what 2320 means after this stage also the steel the steel still have additional heat available equal to how much 2320 is the steel will be drop inside this one is able to raise the temperature of water from 30 to what 100 after that also it has an extra heat equal to 2320 we have a steel block with the extra heat equals to 2320 after cooling to 100 so this block is also equals to 8 degree celsius and now is used to convert water to steam at 100 degree celsius now this is used to convert the water at water to steam at 100 degree celsius so this is used again used for conversion of water to steam you want to find out the entropy change of water so this one is mass of steel this is the initial temperature of steel this is the mass of water this is the initial temperature of water this is the final temperature of steel this is the final temperature of water and this is the phase change the heat available for block is 2320 and the temperature of steel block is 100 and the water and water to phase change will take place at 100. So first of all, we will calculate what is the entropy change at this point. Is the entire process is taking place at constant pressure, we will model this as constant pressure process. As far as solid is considered, for solid Cp is same as Cv. Cp of steel is not known, hence we are now unable to calculate the Cp, the entropy change for steel. But we can very well calculate the entropy change from to state 2. So we have can del Q. Del Q equals M. We are interested in water, mass of water into Cp into dt. Del Q equal to dh minus Vdp 0. dh is it Cp dt? ds. ds is del Q by t. Del Q by t is M into W into Cp multiplied by dt by t. So entropy change from 1 to 2. So entropy change from 1 to 2 is S2 minus s1 is mass of water into cp of water ln of t2 by t1 mass of water is 10 cp of water is 4.186 ln the final temperature is 100 100 is 373 initial temperature is 30 30 is 303 now for 2 to 3 that is this change process 100 degrees celsius water you want to convert 100 degrees celsius into steam so at this time we don't know what is the latent heat of vaporization for water or steam that data is given or data is not given. Do you have data for steel? So this temperature is also equals to what 100 and this also equals to 100. So this time if the temperature is remain constant. If the temperature of the block is remain constant and you are extracting the heat, then can we model this steel block as the infinite amount of energy that is the source. This time entropy from 2 to 3 will be calculated using the steel block. So we have inter, uh, change in entropy ds from 2 to 3 equals to integral of del q by t from 2 to 3. Is this steel block is modeled as a thermal reservoir and during this point is the temperature remain constant that is 100 to 100. 
So we can take out t common. What is left is 1 by t integral of del q from 2 to 3. What is del q? Del q is same as q. Q is what? 2, 3, 2, 0 divided by. Temperature is 373. This one is uh, rejected by the steel and is gained by what? Water. So I take positive sign. 6, 2, 1. Kilojoule per total entropy change from S3, 1, 2, 3. 1, 3, uh, 1, that is from this stage to this stage. Is it addition of 8.7 plus 6.21, 14.91. Air is compressed isothermally. Isothermally means temperature equals to constant. From 100 kilopascal to 8 bar. So P1 is 1 bar and P2 is 8 bar. We know the data of P1, P2 and we want to calculate change in entropy. So we have del Q equal to CVDT plus PDV. And second equation for del Q is CPDT minus VDP. Temperature is constant. So this is 0 and this one is 0. So you are free to use any equation. You can use this as well as you can use this. Advantage is here. What is the advantage here? Because we know the pressure limits. So I will continue this equation. DS. DS is del Q by T. So DS is minus V by T into dp pv pv equals to rt so ds equals to minus of v by t v by t is r by p so this is r into dp by p so integrate so we get s2 minus s1 this one is lower time specific quantity minus r integral of this quantity is ln of p2 by p1 minus r is 0.287 in kilojoules ln p2 is 8 p1 is 1 See that he says kilojoules per kelvin for what unit mass means that kg is hidden there Mass of air what? 5 kg. So, mass of air is 5 kg. Is compressed from 90 kilopascal. So, P1 is 90 kilopascal with the initial temperature equal to 32. 32 is 305 to 600 kilopascal with the index of compression is 1.3. So, we can very well calculate T2 using the equation T2 by T1 equal to P2 by P1. This is a valid relation for polytropic process. Put this value and solve for T2 first. So, your temperature is 524.4 Kelvin. Okay, we have these two equations and we have given the value of P1. We have given the value of P2. Indirectly, we have given the value of what? Dp. We have given the value of T1. We have given the value of T2. Indirectly, we have given the value of Dt. So, we will select that equation which contain Dp and Dt. So, I have these two equation. Shall I go ahead with this equation? So, we have DS. S capital is M into CP dt by T. DS is defined as del Q by T minus V by T into dp. We are using all uppercase letter. So, our ideal gas will also equal to P into V MRT. So what is V by T is MR by P. That is the replacement you have to give first. So, mass divided by CP dt by T minus V by T is minus of M into R into dp by P. So, this one is DS. Ready for integration. Integrate. So, we have capital S2 minus S1 M into CP ln of T2 by T1 minus M into R ln of T2 by P1. Put all this value here. Mass is 5 minus 0.5233 kilojoules per Kelvin. 